Hey everyone, my name is Darby and this is the DevOps for Mobile Apps demo for January 21st, 2022. Uh, on my screen here, I've got the issue for this update uh, and this issue will be linked in the recording um, description below on YouTube so you can get it there. Um, so just a quick update this week, um, got a couple, a couple things to share on secure files and then um, some notes from some customer interviews too. So uh, jumping in real quick to the secure files API, the um, First link here is the MR for the actual API implementation. Um, this MR has been going through uh, maintainer uh, review and approval and is almost finished. So we should be able to ship this pretty soon. Um, we've also put this behind a feature flag um, because of some follow-up um, research that we need to do. So it's not gonna be available to everyone right away, but um, we'll, we'll start to roll it out um, pretty soon as we start to um, uh, go through those uh, follow-up issues. So. Um, that is there. The Some of the follow-up issues I've got linked here below too. So um, we've got a couple of changes that go into the GDK and Omnibus. So those are um, in, in review as well. Um, and then a couple um, follow-up tasks about content masking, rate limiting, and then uh, documentation too. So those are all linked here. Um, so you can uh, follow along with those discussions as well. Um, and then the next steps in here uh, for this feature is the, um, the UX proposal and the runner integration. So I've got a couple issues here. Um, the, uh, the UX proposal is something that's been kind of in discussion for a while, but I'm gonna start uh, working on refining this a bit more and then working towards the implementation um, uh, to start hooking up the UI. So it can, um, it can be used through the browser instead of just through the APIs. Um, and then also started a discussion about integrating with Runner directly. So um, this would be instead of using the, the Ruby script that we have here to download the files in the Runner, um, that this would be a direct integration that would just enable the, the connection um, right from uh, the CIEML file or something like that. So uh, TBD on how that's gonna work exactly, but that's where that discussion is gonna happen. So all of that is there. Um, and then I guess the last section uh, that I've included in here is um, a little bit of feedback and customer interviews. So I've been doing a few customer interviews uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, and so I've been kind of capturing those notes in this incubation ideas list. And so you can go in there and kind of see some of the things that uh, I've been talking with folks about um, and kind of provide any feedback you might have in there as well. So, um, that's all right there in, in that list. Um, so that's it. Um, uh, coming up next, I'm actually going to be participating in the CEO Shadow Program um, starting next week for two weeks. So I won't be doing any updates until mid-February, but um, I'll be checking in on these issues, following up on comments and, and feedback and stuff. So uh, please uh, add any thoughts you have to any of these, uh, these topics, and I'd love to uh, get your feedback. So... Um, that's it for today. Uh, see you next time.